Hey guys, welcome to the channel. Today we're going to be unraveling the mystery of whether there's going to be some kind of remake 2 announcement, whether we're going to be getting something big, a trailer, or whether we're just being trolled by Capcom with this entire dummy finger and it doesn't really mean anything and we're all being led on. Capcom apparently has gone back a little bit in time or they're just a little bit high and they're getting April's the 1st a little bit off. Who knows, but let's go into the new piece of evidence we have because we have another tweet from Capcom and this is the dummy finger once again but it's back in Japan apparently on its way home. Now of course the last image did look like it had a typewriter in it so this is very curious. Now I'm starting to think something specific here guys and I'm sure again this is going to entertain you and probably get a few brain cells going hmm but it is a theory it's just mere speculation and just like my last video I don't want anyone putting all their faith into this. It's just for the purpose of trying to analyze these images and have some fun with you guys. Now if you guys remember, the dummy finger was originally found in the beginning hour demo of Resident Evil 7. So in my previous video, I went over the theory that Shadow provided me that it might be a possibility and a hint that there's going to be a demo of Remake 2. However, after glossing over things and considering a lot of points, I came to a new conclusion and I thought this one sounded pretty rational. Capcom used a lot of photogeometric technology in the game for Resident Evil 7, scanning in a lot of assets that they would later use for in-game purposes. Before any of the demo updates, the dummy finger actually had no purpose at all and I remember uncovering in some previous videos and interviews that Capcom didn't actually intend for it to go anywhere. The only reason the dummy finger had an updated purpose was because of all of the fan reactions. This means that it was just a scan technology, probably a test to see how authentic and high quality they could make an in-game asset and then they put it into the demo because they'd worked so hard on it. We also know lots of the environments around the area such as the house, trees, even the mines were all scanned from real environments. So it's making me think, is the dummy finger being in the USA a sign that they've been scanning a lot of assets for Remake 2 in the US and that those will be used for Raccoon City? I think it's personally a very fair thing to say that they're going to continue with RE Engine even without this hint. A hell of a lot of money, development and even in-house equipment was bought just to put the engine together and to make the entire process very efficient. And combining this information as well as the fact we have the real dummy finger which would have been used in one of the scans and it's now in the US, I'm starting to like I said think this is because this is for the Remake 2 project. Is this the hint that the RE engine and photogeometric technology is being used for the entire project? I have heard other opinions, of course, and I'll gloss over some of those, such as the fact that maybe it's just there to show that Resident Evil 7 is out of the window and Remake 2 is on the horizons. But a lot of time and effort was put specifically into this because they made it go across the world twice. Other people have said that it's merely pointing at something, but again, I think the fact that they're using a Resident Evil 7 asset, one that's been shipped across the world, is a little bit far to go for such a simple metaphor to point at something. There's better ways to get that across, such as lighting, blurring, depth of field, all those beautiful cinematography, post-processing effects, and other elements. So again, I think the fact they chose the dummy finger is very, very important. But let me know what you guys think below. Do you think it is a signal that RE Engine is going to be used in Remake 2 and this is the first indication that photogeometric technology has been applied to the game? Or do you think it's something else? Do you still think that maybe it's a demo hint or are we just getting trolled completely and Capcom is just laughing at all of us? Like I said, let me know in the comments below. If you remember, we also had some scanned zombies that looked very reminiscent of the T-Virus zombies from the Resident Evil 7 C-Deck imagery I've been showing throughout this video. Now the interesting thing is, in the caption of these, they have a Resident Evil 7 tag. You can't see it in some of them, but you can see it in others. And this is kind of indicating that it was supposed to be for Resident Evil 7, but I don't really see any indication, and from my personal knowledge, there was no plan at any point to include any T-Virus or normal style zombies. So, people have theorized a few things that these were early Remake 2 projects, 
assets, myself included. Other people have said that it might have been from Umbrella Corps, which did use the same technology, and it did have normalized zombies in it, so it could have been. There's also various other projects that it could have been used for, such as Vendetta, etc. There's various sources, and the C-Deck presentation was just a tech demonstration of the technology, so we can't really tell if it is Remake 2 assets or not. But you can see here guys that the visual quality of them is quite immense and the point I'm trying to make here specifically is that if they are using the RE engine and photogeometric technology once again and scanning everything in 3D we're in for a really good treat and the zombies are gonna look absolutely phenomenal. It's just an interesting little extra addition. There was other imagery such as the BSAA troops and a lot more imagery than that. But anyway guys, I just hope you've enjoyed the video as always. Let's just really cross our fingers. I saw that pun from a comment and I just had to use it. I stole that. I'm, I'm terrible. But let's just cross our fingers guys for January the 21st and hope that Capcom isn't giving us the finger. It's been a pleasure sharing this information with you guys as always. I hope you've enjoyed the video. Take it easy and peace.